Divine Truth Assistance Group. Group assistance sessions putting principles of divine truth into action. This recording is from the Developing My Loving Self group and is part of an Education in Love series. In the Releasing My Pain question and answer presentation, Jesus attempts to answer questions from the audience about the material covered in the previous presentation, Releasing My Pain. But prematurely finishes the question and answer session due to questions remaining focused on the facade. Recorded on the 8th of June 2016 in Newseville, Queensland, Australia. How are you doing? All right? Yeah. I feel a bit depressed today. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> but you feel a bit depressed today. <laughs> bit, bit sort of. You're just in ponderance thinking about things. A bit quieter today than yesterday. Not quite there. Not quite there. Yep. Okay, well, let's see how we go with this Q&A. If it turns out that after a few minutes it's where we're aware that we've really got no questions about the subject, <laughs> then, I'll <laughs> then I'll actually present something about the subject which will help you a bit. So. Okay, so if we come to Lani. Thanks, Dan. Hold on. Um, my question's about the multiple room. Mm -hmm. um, I had an experience of like opening up a door, and I don't know if this is... So assuming it's sort of something like this, shall we? Um, many, many. <laughs> so there's a door, here's our passageway, shall we see? Yeah. There's a door, yep. And we've got doors into each of these. Yeah. Um, and my experience was like just all like for days receiving like flashbacks. Yep. Of all these events, which you'd just, forgotten. Yes. Yeah. Which I which I wanted to forget. Of course. Yep. Yeah. We don't forget without wanting to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I was kind of overwhelmed by it because I didn't know what was happening because all day these they were just coming so so now seeing that it's to feel each flashback yeah it's a, see a lot of it a lot of times our spirit guys are trying to help us to like they know you're afraid so what they try to do sometimes is show you what's in the room before you open the door <laughs> so you know um which they which they can do you know if you're open enough to it um, it doesn't mean you've opened the door and it doesn't mean you're in the room yet. It just means that you've been willing to see what might potentially be there. Because it, um, it did terrify me and I slammed the door shut. No, I suggest to you the door is already slut shut and, and, and they tried to present to you, they had an opportunity which they took to present to you, you know, the things you weren't remembering and you had some memories return, um, but but didn't still address them emotionally. Mm. Yeah. So the key is to do this emotional work, right? You know, but most of us see, most of us what we do is the more, so, you know, sometimes the more information we're given, the worse we are in dealing with the emotion. So, you know, our, our spirit friends are, it's really a quite a tricky, tricky thing guiding, you know, guiding somebody because sometimes you can give them too much information and then they have a knee-jerk reaction to that and sometimes revert to old behaviour which is quite damaging as a result. So sometimes you've got to let the progress go slowly in the person that you're guiding and sometimes you have opportunities where you can expose a certain thing but you've got to be pretty careful as a guide exposing particular things because if the person's unwilling um, after that point they, it could, they could actually revert to worse behaviour sometimes. So you've got to allow so you were willing in that place, otherwise you wouldn't even have the memory. So you're willing to have the memory, so they allowed, you know, they helped you with the memory, but you weren't willing to have the emotional experience. Yeah. But that's not a question about releasing my pain. <laughs> so that's more of a question about this, isn't it? And just even having memories, allowing yourself to mem remember events so that you can access emotion. Not a question about releasing pain, though. If we go to Amber, behind... Thanks. Um, 
in the releasing paying process and the diagram up on the board, yep. um, at what progress, uh, p- point do we move from the first sphere uh, to the second sphere? Uh, can we choose or...? Well, that's going to be depend totally on how much of God's love you've received, and uh, and that you know that's going to be a pretty big thing as to what you know if if you're not receiving God's love, then it depends on how much natural love you exhibit. So so assuming you've dealt with terror, right? There's a high likelihood that you're close to the transition between the first and second sphere. Does that make sense? Because dealing with that usually requires you addressing the terror. And and then it depends really on how loving you are after that, whether you're loving in a natural love way or you've still got quite a lot of pains that are driving unloving behaviours or stuff like that. But obviously most of your unloving behaviour has disappeared up here. So the, the reality is by the time you got there, the majority of you, if not in the second sphere, you'll be at the top of the first. And um, how will we actually know? Will it just be a feeling in Why us? do you want to know? Because I find it co- motivating. Motivating. Why? Why? Because I want to get there now. <laughs> I don't well, know. Well, no, see, I'm suggesting to you, you don't understand the motivation of wanting to know. You see, most of the time we want to know where we're at rather than feel where we're at, firstly. And that's an issue of, you know, wanting to be in a better place than we actually are. A lot of the times. Secondly, uh, many of us have a spirit of competition that we need to address, where we're competing with other people and we and we feel better than other people when we're competing with them. So we need to address that. And there's a number of other emotions that we need to address. The reality is, once you're truly sincere about this process, it almost doesn't matter where you are after that to you. You just want to progress and continue doing so. So you, you stop thinking about where am I now, where am I now, where am I now, and you start actually focusing on developing more sincerity, more truth, you're developing the four tools, receiving more of God's love. That's really all that matters to you. You're not, you're not hung up about where you are anymore. Does that make sense? Now, you've asked this question a number of times, Amber, in different t- at different stages, and I suggest to you that that's driven by some competitive emotions. Okay. okay, thank you. Sandra in front. Uh, yes. Yep, and then Monique on this side. Uh, but I don't know if that was about releasing my pain either, that question. Let's try another one. Are uh, you just telling us, I think in the previous session, that you were going to talk about um, what it all looks like and feels like. I think you were saying you would share with us um, the process of wasn't going through the terror or one of those? I was going to share with you some of the process of what it looks like deconstructing the terror, but that that is a part of deconstructing the facade, isn't it? Okay. It's not this process. Okay. So that's going to come later or? Well, only if you desire it. (laughs) Okay. All right. We'll see. Cool. Thank you. See what happens in the group feedback. Anything else? Monique. Um, I was just wondering where... um, so using our will through the whole uh, process, yeah. Um, from denial techniques down to sin, um, and I'm wondering if this is not a part of releasing my pain either. No, we discussed in the first group releasing uh, uh, your use of will and and how to develop it, and really all the information we gave there is what you need to do. And and my suggestion is go back over it. Okay. See, many of you are going to need to go back to that first group and go over it quite a few times, actually, to understand the use of your will. And when it comes to this group, many of you are going to have to go over this a few times before you understand the entire process. And particularly when it gets to our third two days, you're going to need to you know, ask a lot of questions about the third two days of this particular group because it's a lot about developing your real self and developing becoming your loving self. Remember these sessions that we've been, this being the final talk in these sessions, of become, of uh, releasing your unloving self, remember? So this is what we're trying to deal with here is releasing our unloving self so that we can become our loving self. And uh, and there's a whole, whole, whole lot of, there's still, well, there's still two th- one third of the material to go yet, so... You'll, need to, you'll find you'll need to revise this material quite frequently until you get used to the process and you're comfortable with the process emotionally. Once you understand the process emotionally, 
then it's like natural. You sort of like, you know it and you do it. You know it and you do it. You don't have to keep going over it. Mm. Anything else? Thanks, Lani. Elaine? <coughs> When we're using our will to assist release our pain, mm -hmm. no matter where we are there, and if we use our will to stay in the feeling rather than jump out, mm -hmm. that will automatically take us along with God's help to where we need to go or... Well, Lainey, I don't know if it's a question about this releasing the pain, oh. but, but again, if, if, your, if your will is actually engaged to feel an emotion, you won't jump out. So if, if you'll find yourself jumping out, you need, to f re you need to feel about why you're jumping out rather than trying to continue the emotion and not jump out. Whether it's pain or any... Oh, I'm suggesting that at. down here you won't jump out. <laughs> you only jump out when you're way up here. So, you know, okay, it's thank a, you. It's a question related to deconstruction. Is, yep. but, but the reality is whenever you, if you're trying to hold yourself in an emotion when you have a feeling of wanting to get out of it, you're better off actually acknowledging the feeling of wanting to get out of it and actually work through what that feeling is about because it's obviously a fear that you need to feel that you're not willing to feel. So that's where you need to go with that. Does Thank that you. Yep. All right. So it's pretty plain, I think, that we're not release, we not, don't know anything about releasing our pain. We don't even know what to ask. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's all right. That's all right. That's where the last group was too. In the last group, I gave them ten or twelve questions, and at the end of it, it was none of them. <laughs> none of them were. They were all about this, and and you can see that for the majority of you, this is the questions you're asking, and that's one indication of where you're at. All right. So I think what we're going to do is have a very very short uh, releasing my pain Q and A. It's now finished. Ten minutes. <laughs> And, and we'll now have a bit of a discussion about how we know where we're at. Does that sound all right with you? Because, uh, because it's pretty obvious that when it comes to releasing our pain, we don't know what questions to ask because we're not there yet, right? And, and that's normally the case. You can't ask questions about what you don't know, right? And, that, and that's normal. So there's nothing wrong with that state. You just have to be aware that that's the way it is and we just work with that. So unfortunately, this Q&A, and we just say to everyone who's listening on the, you know, when they're listening to the recording, this Q&A obviously is going to have to be engaged more when we do our uh, Q&As in our studio. So what we'll do is once you start getting down in this area, there will be questions that come up, right? And what we'd like you to do then is send in those questions and we'll put them as a part of this Q&A and so that we can substitute, you know, the things that we want to ask into and align it with the material that it really belongs to. Does that sound all right? Yeah. Okay. So that's releasing my pain Q&A. <laughs>